What's up, YouTube? New to Books here. Happy Movember, uh, bringing awareness to men's prostates around the globe. Uh, today, we got a quite large book haul, and will be broken into two parts. Uh, we got a total of 33 books to go through. Uh, here in my neighborhood, we had a humongous book sale. Basically, it was like this. You pay $2.00 you get a grocery bag, a paper grocery bag. Then you stuff as many books as you want in that grocery bag and you walk out the door with it. At least that's what I did. Uh, so the first half goes like this. The Last Known Residence of Mickey Asunia by Mr. Gill. Um, this is basically a book about a loner and uh, he has to pick up residence at a YMCA uh, to have an address to receive a letter in the mail that he's expecting. Uh, while he's waiting for the letter, he starts making friendships and relationships with people that he just preferred not to have relationships or friendships with, and basically that's the gist of the story. I've started reading parts of it. I'm about two chapters in. So far, it's kind of interesting, so we'll see how it goes. The next one, Bill Gaston, The Good Body. This is about a retired hockey player and he has a strange relationship with his son. Um, he finds out one day from a doctor that he is dying from some sort of terminal illness. We don't know what it is, at least not yet because I have not read the book yet. But uh, he cheats his way into his son's college and uh, I guess lies on his application, gets accepted, and he tries to you know, establish relations with him. Uh, we'll see how that book goes. The next book, Patrick Foss, The Bang Devils. Um, this book is about two Americans that live in Japan and want to rob a wealthy Japanese fellow. And as most things go with robbing wealthy people, once they get into the house, it turns out to be not what they expected and apparently not at all what it seems to be. So I think... Uh, bad things ensue. Uh, apparently from the back it, it gives this little sentence. You know, it, it, it doesn't take long for them to realize that while the surest way to survive is sticking together, but the surest way to get rich is betrayal. Basically that one sentence kind of caught my, my interest in the book. So, the next one. It's Harry Kunzeru. Uh, it's called Transmission. It's about a man from India that comes over here to work for software companies. Uh, he does some kind of anti-virus software programming, I think, and while over here meets a young lady he becomes infatuated with. Um, finds out one day he will be losing his job and thusly not being able to continue relations with the woman that he, he likes. So, for job security and relationship to security, he creates a virus and inadvertently causes chaos and troubles around the entire globe. Uh, interesting story plot, I think. I think I would like reading it. Uh, next, William Bear, or Will Christopher Bear, by the way he writes. Uh, this book is called Penny Dreadful. It's the second installment. Uh, after Kiss Me Judas, written in a neo-noir kind of style. Uh, I love the neo-noir uh, style, so I think I'm going to like this series. I'm not going to read it until I get Kiss Me Judas, but basically it's a detective on the outs, and uh, he has to go figure out kind of really dark crimes. And uh, basically in this book, he gets into an underground game system, kind of like a, a role-playing game, maybe like a live action World of Warcraft type stuff, except it's called the Game of Tongues, where the only way to win is to take the tongues of all the other players and eat them, I think. Interesting. Uh, the next one is by Richard Matheson. This is one of two Richard Matheson books that I procured. This one's called Earthbound. It's basically a story of a man who goes to a house on a bluff, just like the cover here shows, and it's haunted. 
I like Richard Matheson. Uh, hopefully it will be good. The next book. This is an anthology called Future Crimes. Um, it's a group of science fiction writers that have written short stories about what crimes will be like in the future. Uh, a couple people in here, uh, Orson Scott Card, Isaac Asimov, Lawrence Watt Evans, Harry Harrison, uh, Doug Larson, George Affleck Effinger, and Alan Dean Foster, just to name a couple. So if you like any of those, maybe give it a try. Mary Roach, Spook. Now, if you know Mary Roach, she wrote the book Stiff, The Curious Lies of Cadavers, a very interesting book about what happens to your body after you die. Uh, you know, as in, you know, it's, it's going through a mortician and uh, being ready for embalming or burial or cremation or whatever you do with it. Uh, this book is the science, science that tackles the afterlife. Basically, it's a scientific look of what happens to you I guess soul-wise after you die, if there's a ghost or life after death and whatnot. So I will think I will enjoy this one. Next, uh, Superstition by David Ambrose. Now I've already read this book. I read it last week while up on the Appalachian Trail and uh, it was pretty good. It kind of scared the crap out of me in a couple areas just by the fact of that while I was reading it, what was happening in the book was also happening in real life. Very freaky. I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but I'll give an example. The wind starts to blow uncontrollably inside a closed room for no reason. I'm in a tent on the trail and the wind starts blowing in through my tent. Then knocks on the walls very loud for no reason. And at this time, after the wind dies down, the trees start banging. Uh, kind of freaky especially as I'm reading the book. Uh, if you don't know anything about the book, it's uh, loosely based on actual uh, research projects done by colleges on the fact of the matter that ghosts are not uh, people coming back from the afterlife or left behind to finish unlift business. Uh, it's basically manifestations of your brain and your mind. So if you think it and it can grab hold to make you think that it's real, then they are real. The next one, Driving Blind by Ray Bradbury. This has no dust jacket, but I saw it on the table and picked it up, and then only later did I realize, first edition, first printing. Just a group of short stories. I like everything about Bradbury, so I probably will like this one too. The Soul Thief. Uh, this is Charles Baxter. I don't really know anything about this one, uh, other than I think it's a man in college that uh, befriends a group of people and I think one of them, or a couple of them, try to take his identity. I'm not really sure at all if that's what it's about anyway. Uh, I probably will read it. I looked it up on the internet. It didn't get good reviews, so I might be returning this for some credit at my local used bookstore. My next Richard Matheson book, Haunted Past Reason. Uh, this basically is your, your two men enter, one men leave kind of book. It's two guys go into the wilderness hiking and the deeper they go the more insane they become and that's about all I got out of it so far I think most of you know these next two uh, Cormac McCarthy The Road it's been a movie it's about a man and his son living after a post-apocalyptic event and walking to the coast and The Wind-Up Girl by Pablo Bacalupi I think that's his name. Um, I think this has been shown on YouTube quite often, so I'm not going to go into much detail, but I'm a couple chapters in. I can't wait to just finish a couple other books and really get into this one. It's pretty good. And the last two for part one, both books by William Gibson, Spook Country, and Pattern Recognition. Or actually, they should go this way because this one was first, this one was second. Both books are basically about the same thing. Different people, different areas of life, different walks of life. Uh, some having, uh, it runs into with the other. Some don't, I guess. But basically it's just 
people's view on life, I think. So from what I hear, this one's way better than this one. So we'll start with this one. Into part one. You want part two? Go to my channel. Click on that video. Hope y'all saw some books y'all can get some good reading out of. If not, hope y'all saw books that reminded you of some you needed to read. Remember, men's prostates for the month of November.